next on the Gospel Bill Show. Then you're just what I've been looking for. I am? Have I got a job for you. You do? Tell me, you ever heard of Rufus McCluskey? The bank robber? Well, he's a bank robber who robbed a couple, a bunch of banks, but Gospel Bill caught him and he's over in the Dry Gulf Jail. In our jail? It's the Gospel Bill Show, featuring Gospel Bill, his sidekick, Nicodemus, Miss Lana, good old Elmer Barnes, and the entire Dry Gulch gang. I'm getting out of here, Sheriff. You can't keep me here. You wouldn't have caught me if I hadn't been asleep. I'm getting out of this dumb jail. I'm going to rob your bank in the morning. You can't keep me here overnight. I'm going to break out before nightfall. You just watch me. Constable Bill, you caught Rufus McCluskey. Yeah, finally. What'd you do, have to use a whole U.S. cavalry? No, not really. I know, you surrounded him with a posse. No, not that. I know, you had to draw both your six guns on him at one time. I've only got one six gun. Well, how'd you catch him then? Well, it's pretty easy, really. I just kind of snuck up on him while he was asleep. Oh, you can't be telling folks that. Well, why not? It'll mess up your book. What book? Well, that book you're going to write when you retire. You know, your memoirs. Gospel Bill, world's greatest sheriff. Oh, I don't have time for that, but I am glad you're here. Listen, I got to get over to the store and send off the wire. I got to get the warden to send up a marshal to come pick that varmint up. Okay, well, I'll watch him for you. Shouldn't be in trouble. Yeah, I'd appreciate that. Keep your eye on him. He's a mess. So, you're Rufus McCluskey. Who are you? You look like a little yellow-backed cowboy to me. Miss Lana, have you heard any news about the manhunt? Well, no, Mr. Tellwater, I haven't heard a word. Oh, they have just got to catch that Rufus McCluskey. Well, what makes him so special? You know what he does, don't you? Well, yes, I know he's a bank robber, but what makes him any different from any other bank robber? He is the meanest man in the entire Western Territory. Well, I wonder what made him so mean. Well, it was his father. Why, old Jacob McCluskey, that man was even meaner than Rufus, I hear. Stories are that he used to just beat that boy with a buggy whip from the time he was born. Originally got rid of his wife, may have even killed his other two children, but that boy you was thrown out in the middle of winter into the snow, sometimes he even had to eat out of the pig's trough. Oh, well, no wonder he turned out the way he did. Lana, I need to get a wire off right away. Uh, Sheriff, did you catch that Rufus? Yeah, he's over in the jail. Now listen, Lana, this has got to go to the warden at the Territorial Prison. Well, if you're here, who's guarding him? Nicodemus is there watching him. Now listen, tell him I need a federal marshal here immediately to escort Rufus back to the penitentiary. Listen, federal marshal, that could take days, Sheriff. What are you going to do to guard that man? I'm arranging for men to stay in that jail round the clock to watch Rufus. We won't let him get away, Tutwater. Uh, Miss Lana. When there's a bank robber around, I get real sort of nervous. I think I'll go check on my deposits. Hey, Yellowback, what are you going to do when I get out of here? You can't hold me in here, Yellowback. I'm out of here, Sheriff. You understand me? I'm going to get out of this stupid jail. I'm going to be out of here by nightfall. You can't keep me here, Sheriff. Nicodemus, I need to talk with you for a minute outside. As I can, you're in trouble. Hey, Yellowback, where are you going? You give up on me, Yellowback? Where are y'all going? I'm going to be gone by the time you get back. Listen, that crazy guy, he's so dangerous, I can't leave him alone for even a few minutes. Listen, I got a half fellas come in here and watch him in two-hour shifts, and you got to help me. But who's going to want to come in here and be with him? Well, now listen, that's why I need you to go around and round up some guys. I need you to tell them that all they got to do is watch him for two hours. There's nothing to be afraid of. He's behind bars. All he does is yell. Okay, I'll do the best I can. All right, I appreciate it. Hey, Sheriff, I'm still here, but not for long. You can bank on it, Sheriff. Speaking of bank, I'm going to rob your town's bank tomorrow morning. What are you going to do about that? 
The town's going to fire you because I'm out of here. You can't keep a prisoner like me here. I'm going to get out of this stupid jail. I'm going to be gone. So, Miss Lena, if you want to catch the big ones, you got to have worms. And you got to keep them moist. That's why I always keep a pinch between my cheek and gum. Worms? Uh-huh. And you take them out, and you put them on your hook, and you cast them out there. And you get ready, because he's going to pull real hard. And when he pulls, he pulls. And he pulls. And he pulls. So you get that big daddy in there. And there you have it, Miss Lena, my fish and trade secrets. Well, thank you, Elmer, for your uh, tips. Elmer, you're just the kind of man I've been looking for. I am? Yeah, I've been looking for somebody with muscle. Well, I got some muscles. And I've been looking for somebody with a keen eye. I got some eye. Two of them. And I've been looking for somebody with intelligence. No, somebody that's smart. No, somebody that can speak the English language. Well, I've been speaking that since I was 12. Elmer, I guess what I'm really looking for is a real man. Well, I'm a real man. Then you're just what I've been looking for. I am? Have I got a job for you. You do? Elmer, you ever heard of Rufus McCluskey? The bank robber? Well, he's a bank robber, robbed a couple, a bunch of banks, but Gospel Bill caught him and he's over in the Dry Gulf Jail. In our jail? Yeah, but now everything's all safe and sound now, and he's gonna be there a couple of days, see, till the marshal gets here to pick him up, and, well, we're looking for somebody that can kind of go over there and watch him, you know? It'd just be for a couple of hours, and since you said you were a... Uh, Real man, thought you might be interested in a little law enforcement. Law enforcement? Well, I can do that. I can do it. Law enforcement. Uh, Gospel Bill will give you all your instructions when you get to the jail. Nicodemus, since Rufus is going to be in jail a couple of days anyway, why doesn't someone just go there and just tell him about the love of Jesus? Rufus McCluskey and Jesus, <laughs> you might as well pray for it to snow in June as for Rufus McCluskey to get saved. <laughs> Elmer Barnes reporting for law enforcement. Law enforcement? Uh huh. Nicodemus told me you needed some help. Oh, that's right, Elmer. I'm glad you're here. Sit down. Yeah, I'm glad you came by. I need a break from that fella. He gets to yelling so loud, I think my head's gonna explode. Now listen, there are three things you have to remember in watching a prisoner. Three things? That's right, three things. Three. All right, Elmer, the first is you never turn your back to him while you're near that cell. Never turn my back? That's right. The second thing is, no matter what he tells you, don't let him talk you into getting those keys off that rack. Don't let him talk me into getting the keys. And number three, keep your eye out for any sudden moves. Keep my eye out for any sudden moves. Yeah, I think you'll be able to handle things okay. Now listen, he may start yelling at you, but don't let that bother you. I'll be back in a couple of hours. Always remember, he's behind bars and he can't hurt you. Well, I can do it. Howdy, my name's Elmer Barnes. So what? Well, I'm sorry. You stink. Really? You smell like a gutted catfish. Well, I really appreciate that. Oh, the nice man. Oh, I just know that that man needs someone to pray for him. I just can't believe that someone would be here in Dry Gulch and not have somebody to pray for him. Oh, Lord. I know, Lord, you're speaking to me to pray for him. Amen, old pal, old 
buddy, old friend of mine. Now, here's all you got to do. Just go to the JLC and just watch old Rufus McCluskey just for a couple hours till the federal marshal gets here. Why, he'll be here any day now. Now, tell you what I'll do. Now, tell you what I'll do for you if you'll do that. You know that buckboard I got? The real nice one with the white sidewall tires, the one that I used to court Miss Trudy Lou. Ned, I'll let you, I'll let you use that buckboard anytime you want to. Hey, what do you say, Ned, huh? Except, of course, on Fridays and Saturdays. See, that's when I do my courting with Miss Trudy Lou. And then on Sunday morning, Sunday night, we got to go to church. You couldn't use it then. And then Monday, of course, we got that prayer meeting. And then every other Wednesday, I'll need to be using it. But any other time you want it, Ned, why, it'll be yours. Come on, what do you say? Now, I mean, Rufus, he ain't such a bad guy. Hey, what do you say, huh? Well, no. Ned! Oh. What's the matter? You doing any good? Oh, I can't get anybody to watch old Rufus McCluskey gospel bill. I'm not the least bit surprised. I once heard that old Rufus McCluskey robbed a bank without even using his gun. Well, had to get the money out of there then. Well, old Rufus just walked up there and got this ugly look on his face and started yelling at him, and they just gave it up. Well, I understand that. Yeah. Well, maybe Lana's got some ideas. Yeah. Hey, the store's closed. Father God, I just lift up Rufus McCluskey before you right now. Your word said that you would have all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Well, there's Miss Lena in the store. Yeah, it sounds to me like she's praying. Oh, she's a praying for Rufus McCluskey. I might as well go in there and tell her it ain't gonna do a bit of good. No, don't bother. But I do have to agree with you. Praying for Rufus McCluskey might be wasted motion. That guy's got the hardest heart of any feller I've ever seen. You sure are right. Well, if he straightens up, it'll certainly be because God got a hold of him, because God's the only one who could change that man. Hey, listen. I just got to thinking about something. T.U. Tutwater ought to have a real appreciation for keeping old Rufus behind bars. Maybe we ought to just go talk with him. Oh, wait a minute. T.U. Tutwater watching Rufus McCluskey. Can we sell tickets? Oh, come on. <laughs> and I pray for truth for him. And Father, you said in your word that the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. And to pray to the Lord of the harvest to send forth laborers. I pray that laborers be sent forth across his path in Jesus' name. Hey, fish breath, I'm busting out of here tonight. You don't forget it, buddy. Hey, Sheriff, glad you can make it back. I'm out of here tonight. You can't keep me here any longer. Hey, Elmer, I want to thank you for watching my prisoner. Huh? I can't hear you. I said I want to thank you for watching my prisoner. There's something wrong with your mouth, Sheriff. I can't hear you. Why don't you take off those earmuffs? Wait a minute, Sheriff. Why don't I take off my earmuffs? Yeah, now that you can hear me, I want to thank you for watching my prisoner. Well, you're welcome, but I won't do it again. Well, what's the matter? Did he give you some kind of trouble? Well, he was so loud, I couldn't even talk to Inky and Dinky. Inky and Dinky? Who in the world are they? Well, they're my pet fishing worms. Oh. Well, listen, you can go on home now, so thanks a lot. Okay. I'll see you later. You make so much noise, you're not ever going to catch any fish. Well, you smell like I got in catfish. And I thank you for the labor that you'll send in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, someone will minister to Rufus McCluskey now. And I think it's me, isn't it, Lord? Well, you've used some peculiar ways to spread your word, but I just can't imagine using me to minister to Rufus McCluskey. But I'll be obedient. You know, you know what's good for you. You won't say a word about this to anyone. Okay, okay, I promise I won't say a word about it. But you took every bit of my money. Well, you got your life, don't you? At least I didn't take that. Yeah, yeah, I'm grateful, I'm grateful. But what about my wife and kid? I gotta have money to feed them. If I don't have any money, they'll starve. That's your problem, Buster, not mine. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, but I have to have some. Couldn't you leave me just a little bit? No, sir. I'm taking every cent that 
that you have. You ought to feel fortunate that I didn't decide to cut your throat. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Now get out of here. You disgust me. Hey, John, I saw a fellow over here that I want to talk to about Jesus. I'll be with you in a minute. Hey, buddy, you mind if I have a word with you? Who, me? Yeah, you. Hey, have you ever heard about the free gift of God that comes to us through Jesus Christ? A free gift from God? Are you kidding? Nothing's free. Oh, that's where you're wrong. There is something free. It's called the gift of salvation, and it belongs to every person in the whole wide world. It's free? That's right. You see, God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for all of our sins, and that's so we could have a free gift of salvation. Do you mean that you don't have to earn it? No, you don't have to earn it. It comes to everybody for free. Well, uh, I don't think you should be talking to me. Well, why is that? Well, uh, I don't think I would deserve something like that. Deserve it? Well, why? Because I'm a pretty rotten fellow. Actually, you just almost caught me in a robbery here. That's how I make my living. So you probably should go tell someone else about this free gift. I don't think God could ever forgive me. Now, that's where you're wrong. You see, God can forgive anybody. Anybody? Even a thief? Anybody. Even a thief. Why, God could forgive you. You don't have to be a thief the rest of your life. If you let Jesus come to live in your heart, you can be a good man, even a righteous man. Me? But I, I've been a terrible man all of my life. That doesn't matter. God can change anybody. Hey, mister, come over here. I think I'm going to give your money back to you. Sheriff, I'm not going to stick around this stupid jail. I'm going to get out of here. You try to take me somewhere else, I'm going to escape. I'm going to come back and rob your dumb bank, your stupid town. I'm going to tear it up. I'm not going to put up with this stuff. Get me out of here right now. This is dumb. Hey, stupid McCluskey, why don't you here? just be quiet? Nobody's listening to you. Get You're just here. blowing off hot air. I'm not going to put up with this. Come who, in. Who's this? Lana. What are you doing coming in here while I got that outfit in this jail? Well, Gospel Bill, I've been praying for Rufus, and the more I prayed, the more the Lord showed me I'm the one that needs to minister to him and witness to him. All right. Well, if I didn't know you know how to hear from God, I wouldn't let you do this, but... Okay, come on over here. All right, now listen, Rufus McCluskey. Sure. This woman wants to talk with you. Well, and I, I don't... know you don't have any manners, but would you try to muster some up so you can listen to her? I don't need a woman talking to me. What do you got, little woman? You got some food for me? Well, Rufus, I did bring you some food, but I came over. I, I was talking to Mr. Tatwater, and he told me that you had such a hard life, and, and you grew up so hard, and nobody loved you. Rufus, I came to tell you that God loves you. I don't need your love stuff. I don't need any of this junk. Listen, Rufus, you may not need my love, but you do need the love of God. Talking to me like this. Rufus, God loved you so much that he sent Jesus to God die for you. God love. Come on, lady. Come on. I don't need this stuff. Yes, you do, Rufus. You need God. You need to accept Jesus Christ as your Savior. You'll be a changed man. Rufus, you act like a wild man. I don't need this stuff. What? I don't need your food. I don't need you. I don't need your love stuff. I don't need God. I don't need any of this stuff. Why don't you just leave? Why don't you just get out of here? Sheriff, I'll just leave this over here. Gosh, Sheriff, I can't believe this. Rufus, you woman. think about it. I don't need this stuff. This is crazy. I don't need this dumb stuff. I don't need this line. Listen, why don't you listen to what the woman has to say? It just might do you some good. I don't need it. Well, it is about time. Miss Lana, I hope you realize that it's going to be very difficult for you to make your payment to me if you don't maintain regular store hours. Now, just exactly why were you closed in the middle of the day? Well, Mr. Tutwater, it may not seem very important to you, but the Lord just laid it on my heart to go over to the jail and tell Rufus McCluskey that he loves him. <laughs> now, that's the biggest waste of time I could think of. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. Listen, sorry, Tutwater. Lana. Rufus wants to talk to you. I think he's breaking. He wants you to come back to the jail, and he wants you to bring your Bible. I'll be right there. Oh, uh, excuse me, Mr. Tutwater, but I have to close up again. Uh, but I was going to buy some things. Uh, Mr. Tutwater, if Rufus becomes a Christian, your bank will be a lot safer. Yeah, yeah, I knew that. Yeah, I knew that.
the clothes that you wear, the color of your eyes, or the way you comb your hair. Can't tell you're a Christian how good you've been. The Bible says that everybody. You know, no matter how bad you've been in your past, God still loves you. Do you know that He cares about you so much that instead of punishing you for your sins, He punished Jesus. Jesus died for the most wicked of sinners. And that means anybody can come to Him and ask Him for forgiveness of sins. You see, when Jesus comes into your heart, He takes away all of your sin. That's why you need to ask Him to come into your heart to be your Lord. When Jesus comes in to be your Lord, He takes control of your life and He gets rid of your sin. Well, if you've never done that, now's the time to do it. Bow your head and say, Jesus, come into my heart and be my Lord, and He will. Boom. 